and welcome everyone to another episode of SCW's Action. This is episode 64. In this episode, we're going to have two men that are going to be on opposite sides of the si sides of the six-man tag team war. That's going to take place in Blood, Sweat, and Tears 9. And I've got an announcement regarding that match. That match is now going to be a six-man elimination tag team match. Confirming that on this program here. So Dante, Ghost Rider, and Guy will face Superman in the 80s Express in a six-man war. It would be a six-man elimination tag team match. And two of those men in that match are going to be competing here in action. Dante former two-time internet champion. He's also going to face a two-time former internet champion. And he, man... He, man, strong. There's some history action between these two. It was the 80s Express. They defeated Ghost Rider and Dante to win the tag team titles early in 2015. We'll be on the opposite ends of this elimination tag match, opposite ends of this singles match. And speaking of the team's got, we've been told that Guile will be competing on the Superstar Clash. The last Superstar Clash before Blood, Sweat, and Guy will be in action. He will compete. It'll be the first time we've seen Guy compete on the Clash in years. As He-Man comes out flying with suplexes. And a Bulldog! And oh, he just poked him in the eyes. That'll turn the tables. Go for... Whatever that... That, that's not going to work. There's a suplex by Dante. Two great athletic performers here in SCAW competing in this episode of action. What's it going to be like in front of thousands of fans? Tens of thousands. This, uh oh. Oh, back! Electric chair drop. We're expecting maybe one of our biggest crowds in SCW history at Blood Sweat Cheers. Nice. Look at this move. That was nice. Only gets a one count though. The dome at the America Center. I believe it could hold a capacity. I believe we can get north of. 75, 80,000 fans, the Dome at America Center. If that were to be the case, that would be a record for a wrestling event in the state of Missouri. If this were real. But that's right, folks. There's a big boot. Oh, what a move by He Man as he dives to the outside. And he's strong. He showboats a little bit there. That was a mistake. Strew He Man to the steps. And now Dante's feeling pretty good about how this match is going. Then again, now He Man for a half Boston Crab on the floor. But a clothesline right there. Ref is counting. Now what's He-Man doing? He's gonna charge takedown. And now, oh, fall away slam on the floor. Good lord! This has been a very physical encounter, involving two. Athletes that aren't afraid to get physical. Physical. That one arm he just threw him. 
Now he made it's going to the top. High flying. Elbow drop. He's going to hook the leg. Gets a two count. I hope everybody out there is enjoying what is going to be the holiday season. The best that they can. The holiday seasons are. Wait. He made. Oh, nice power slam. Shades of Braun Strowman. No. They kicked out of two. Braun Strowman. I just referenced him. Future Universal Champion. Or W Champion. You know he's going to put the big belt on him. Small package by Dante. It, it gets a two count. Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns. Fear for your life. That's a match that will happen someday. Elbow drop. Misses there. And now Dante go for the Devil May Tap. And He-Man may tap here. He's in the middle of the ring in this submission hold. So he have to strike to fight his way out. Or maybe make it to the ropes. He's, he's trying to get there. He's trying to get to the bottom rope there. He's very close, it looks like. It looked like he got it. He, he, he touched the rope. Shouldn't there be a break? Or do you have to grab it? He grabs it. But you just have to touch the rope. I mean, it's like breaking the plane of the end zone. And again, I have to bitch about people claiming that rope breaks in no DQ matches. It's not false count anywhere. There's a fall. There's two count. If it's not a false count anywhere match, then you can have rope breaks. Because if your foot is on the ropes, it's on the outside of the ring. And if your body's on the any part of your body's outside the ring, you can't get pinned. There's a takedown by He-Man. Oh, another fall away slam! And then he made oh my oh that looked weird that looked weird just the way that animated it just looked very awkward looking Dante's back up and he throws him over the stairs now it's going for Devil May Tap on the outside that's what he's doing here. You can't get a submission on the outside, though. He just powers his way out. And he throws him all the way over there. He man uses his head the best way he knows how. Well, oh, hurry! The referee's count was pretty high, and he man breaks the count, but Dante's able to recover. Yeah, Dante. Bulldog on the floor. He's got it back in the ring. Now what's he gonna do? We're gonna go for a sunset flip on He-Man. Gets two. Poking the eyes. Yeah, wait, well, he picked him up here. Countered the execution. To look at him. An execution. And wait a minute! Power of Grey Skull! Go for the submission! He's got it on here! Look at this! He may get Dante to tap out! He may get it here! Uh, oh, he's able to slip out of it and hit it DDT! Dante able to slip out of it! Hit the DDT! Oh, he just missed that spinning kick there! And oh, rake of the eyes! Eye rake there! And now about an execution! Oh, got it! He got the execution! And it, oh, two, he kicked out. He kicked out. You try it again, but no. 
Oh, he tried to drop kick. It was blocked. He's going to try to spear. Got the spear. Speared him, and that's it. Two. Oh, he made kicked out of the spear. Maybe try another spear here. Out of the corner. And if he gets this, it's over. Got it. A st t two spears to put He-Man down. No, he kicked out of the sixth the second spear. And look at the strength of He-Man. One arm. But he gets behind him. Another electric chair drop. This time he goes forward with it! My goodness! There'll be another speed! Oh! He speed him into the ropes! But... We didn't get the full impact there! Oh, he got impact on that! Which, oh! What a DDT! He brained He-Man! And now another DDT! Another spear! Three times! Oh! Got him! For the third time! That's it! Two! What?! How?! Three spears! How does someone kick out of three spears?! That one! Not two, three! How about a fourth? This one off the top! Oh, he missed! He missed it! He, he missed it! What a... A moment there! Spy bust! Or a atomic drop! This move by He-Man! Can he get the win here? Dante! It's not... What's he making it do here? Oh my goodness, look at this move! Oh, holy shit! What a move! By He-Man! And... Oh, he got the win! He-Man wins! I think... It was like a... I don't know what the hell to call that move, but that was devastating, and it ended this after he kicked out of three spears. He had like a full Nelson bomb, and wins this, and that's some momentum for Team Superman right there, heading into Blood, Sweat, and Tears 9, but we got one more clash to go before we get there, and what a big clash it's going to be. Elric and Hellboy teaming up to face Robin and Albert Wesker. Be sure to join us then.